In the ever-changing world of military advancements, where the latest technology combines with smart strategies, a new era is emerging in the sky. For many years, the United States Air Force has been a leader in testing drones, smoothly blending these unmanned wonders into reconnaissance activities. Leading this progress is the Valkyrie, a mix of strength and efficiency created not only for surveillance, but to change how air combat works. However, there is a crucial question the industry is anticipating an answer to. Where is the current demand for increasing the production of these drones? Join us as we consider the drone that puts all wingmen to shame, XQ-58A. The beginning of military drones goes back to when they were first used for gathering information in reconnaissance missions. They were designed to collect intelligence without putting soldiers in danger or causing diplomatic issues. These unmanned systems have changed a lot in terms of weight, size, and how they are used. They started as simple observers and have become active participants, working alongside remotely controlled aircraft. These drones are assigned the job of collecting information before carrying out accurate airstrikes. The General Atomics Predator drone shows this journey of change, being a strong presence since the late 1990s in global combat areas especially during recent American involvement in the Middle East. As the United States Air Force looks for a new type of drone to work with manned aircraft, attention is on the low-cost attributable strike demonstrator program. This joint effort aims to create something that can be used again and is affordable, even when there are expected combat losses. To achieve this goal, the Air Force teamed up with Kratos Defense and Security Solutions, leading to the XQ-58 Valkyrie, an experimental stealthy unmanned combat aerial vehicle. As a trustworthy companion, the Valkyrie was carefully designed to go along with F-22 and F-35 aircraft during combat missions, smoothly switching between scouting, collecting information, and confronting enemy air and ground targets. Besides its operational abilities, the Valkyrie's unique features highlight an innovative structure. It has a wingspan of 22 feet, and a length of about 28 feet, reaching a top speed of 652 miles per hour and an estimated range of 2,400 miles. Equipped with the capability to carry up to eight weapons in two storage areas, its affordability at an estimated $2 million per unit offers a cost-effective option compared to the potential losses of F-22 or F-35 aircraft. The Valkyrie has a versatile capacity, able to carry a total of 272 kilograms both inside and outside. It measures 30 feet in length and has a wingspan of 27 feet. In terms of weight, the Valkyrie weighs 1,134 kilograms when empty, and its maximum takeoff weight can reach 2,722 kilograms. Looking at how well it performs, the drone has a cruise speed of 882 kilometers per hour. It can cover an impressive distance of around 5,600 kilometers, making it a powerful force in different operational situations. The Valkyrie can also climb up to a maximum altitude of 45,000 feet, showing its abilities in high altitude environments. A crucial moment in Valkyrie's development happened when they added the LTS-600, a small drone that launches from a tube autonomously. Seeing the Valkyrie smoothly release the LTS-600 during a test flight marked a new phase in warfare. Made by Area 1, the LTS-600 is a drone that launches from a tube on its own. It can fly for a long time and covers a distance of more than 4 hours and 276 miles per hour. This achievement brought in the idea of launching drones from the cockpit of a manned aircraft and using Valkyrie drones for various tactical options. The United States Air Force plans to get more than 100 Valkyrie drones for further improvements and tests, expecting significant changes in combat strategies. In the always changing world of warfare, the Valkyrie appears not just as a faithful companion, but as a sign of a future where unmanned aircraft build interconnected networks, expanding targeting range and the scope of combat. As the Valkyrie smoothly works together with remote stations, it becomes a flexible tool for shooting weapons, eliminating important targets, and giving instant intelligence directly to fighter jet cockpits. 
Caitlin Lee emphasizes the Department of Defense's worries about the regular military balance leaning towards China in the Indo-Pacific area. To offset this change, it's crucial to get next-generation drones. Against this background, the Valkyrie made by Kratos joins the competition, carefully designed for stealth missions using readily available parts. Though still in the works, it competes for more military funding in the field of AI-equipped drones, with a notable price range of $5 to $10 million. Steve Fendley explains the distinctive features of the Valkyrie, highlighting that it's the only system flying for a long time. It has mission configuration systems, autonomy, and artificial intelligence within the genuine attributable class range, valued at less than $10 million. Weighing 2,500 pounds with dimensions similar to two or three concert grand pianos, the Valkyrie's specifications include a 30-foot length, a 27-foot wingspan, and a capability to reach a speed of 0.85 times the speed of sound. Its capability to travel 3,000 miles at altitudes of up to 45,000 feet, carrying 600 pounds of internal weaponry, makes it a versatile and powerful asset. Stealth features, like a curved shape and a serpentine inlet for radar evasion, add to its attractiveness. The Valkyrie's importance goes beyond its physical features. Controlled by artificial intelligence, it stands as a crucial part of the Air Force's efforts like the Vanguard programs, demonstrating the integration of unmanned systems and teamwork between manned and unmanned aircraft. Its artificial intelligence pilot, with various sensors, understands its surroundings, gives commands, and decides on flight paths, preparing for missions that are either automatic or involve collaboration with fighter jets. In the always changing world of warfare, characterized by strategic competition with China, it's crucial to quickly and collectively welcome artificial intelligence. Kathleen Hicks stresses the need to adjust and keep peace in the midst of changing threats. The military's exploration of artificial intelligence goes also beyond traditional uses, looking into technologies like automated missile defense systems and affordable drones for collecting intelligence. While the Valkyrie marks a significant advance in artificial intelligence-equipped drones, worries persist about the ethical and legal aspects linked to using lethal autonomous weapons. Caitlin Lee recognizes the worldwide discussion mentioning talks in the United Nations about prohibiting these weapons. Despite the difficulties, the Valkyrie, which costs much less than crewed aircraft, is set to play a crucial role as the military plans to include thousands of AI drones in its fleet within the next two years. As the military looks into much more affordable systems, the Valkyrie stays at the forefront of developing AI piloting software. The goal is to make a group of systems for the Department of Defense, maximizing shared features from an AI and interface standpoint. Development work is ongoing, with successful tests showing the Valkyrie's ability to solve problems. However, when it will be fully used and included in proposed programs like the Collaborative Combat Aircraft is uncertain. The industry is eagerly waiting for the signal to increase production. Navigating this big change, the Valkyrie stands as proof of the transformative power of artificial intelligence-equipped weapons. The effect on the battlefield is yet to be seen, as the military proceeds cautiously, balancing the benefits against ethical considerations in this era of strategic competition. On December 30, 2022, the Pentagon officially revealed that the Navy had finalized a purchasing deal for two XQ-58 drones. The contract, detailed in a daily contracting notice, was managed through the Naval Air Systems Command's Naval Air Warfare Aircraft Division and is valued at more than $15 million. This all-encompassing contract covers making and delivering drones, along with unspecified sensor and weapon system payloads. As mentioned in the notice, these unmanned aircraft will play a crucial role in achieving the goals outlined in the Affordable Autonomous Collaborative Killer Portfolio. This includes various tasks like one-time engineering services, integrating systems or subsystems, installing, testing, ground and flight operations, logistics, and maintaining the unmanned aerial system. Also, it includes government-owned contractor-operated operations for flight test and demonstration events at government test ranges. The set timeframe for finishing this work is within the current fiscal year, 
ending on September 30. The Kratos XQ-58 Valkyrie is an experimental stealthy drone designed for the United States Air Force's low-cost Attertable Strike Demonstrator Program. Part of the United States Air Force Research Laboratory's low-cost Attritable Aircraft Technology Project portfolio. Originally named the XQ-222, the Valkyrie had its first successful flight on March 5, 2019, at Yuma Proving Ground, Arizona. Acting as a faithful companion under the control of a parent aircraft, the XQ-58 is tasks like scouting, defensive firing, or taking hits from the enemy if under attack. Importantly, it uses stealth technology, which means it has a trapezoidal body with a chined edge detail and an S-shaped air intake. The XQ-58 can be sent out alone or as part of a group of drones, with or without direct pilot control. Besides being able to take off and land conventionally, it can also be launched from ordinary launch modules like support ships, shipping containers, and semi-trailer trucks. Kratos plans to make anywhere from 250 to 500 Valkyries each year. On March 5, 2019, about two and a half years after Kratos got the contract, the XQ-58 took its first flight. The detailed test plan included five test flights split into two phases, concentrating on checking system functionality, how well it flies, and the effectiveness of launch and recovery systems. A major event happened on 23 July 2020, when the Air Force gave contracts to Kratos, Boeing, Northrop Brumman, and General Atomics as part of the competitive Skyboard program. This effort aimed to have an unmanned companion for manned fighters at a cost that was considered somewhat expendable. However, Northrop was removed from the program on December 7, 2020. Kratos, Boeing, and General Atomics then submitted their entries by May 2021, setting the stage for flight tests planned for July 2021. A crucial moment in the XQ-58's testing timeline happened on March 26, 2021, marking its sixth test flight. During this mission, the XQ-58 reached a milestone by opening its internal weapons bay for the first time and successfully releasing a 12-kilogram Arii Altita 600 small unmanned aircraft system. Jumping ahead to August 2023, a report with pictures showing the XQ-58 flying alongside an F-15E Strike Eagle from the 96 Test Wing's 40th Flight Test Squadron at Ablin Air Force Base, Florida. In December 2022, the United States Marine Corps took a significant step by ordering two XQ-58s for testing purposes under the Marine Corps, penetrating affordable autonomous collaborative killer portfolio program. The initial test flight with these drones happened at Eglin Air Force Base on the 2nd of October 2023. Building on this progress on January 2023, the United States Navy also joined the initiative by ordering two XQ-58s for tests similar to those being conducted by the Marines. Thanks for watching. While you're still here, click on the link appearing on your screen to watch another of our interesting videos. See you there.